comes to filling the cups, we're only going to fill the cups a little less than halfway up. I found the solo cups. Woohoo! <laughs> Thought I was going to have to buy them, but the previous owners left some here, so that works out perfect. I need to go to the garage because we need to see if I have a drill bit to drill a hole and create a little filtration system. Wow, what a beautiful day out. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is a mess. I really need to clean this out. Do I have a bit? It doesn't look like I have a bit, but I have this screw. So I'm gonna see if that works. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I knew my dad left one of these here. There we go. 3 8 inch, 9.5 millimeter. Okay, I think we're in business. Perfect. Are we gonna go through? How many do we have here? I don't know, a lot. good. There we go. We got one set done. Ow. It's hurting my finger. Because now I have like all these little plastic shavings. I don't want microplastics in my soil. It didn't make a perfect hole, but that's okay. I honestly might have to rinse them out. All right, I'm going to get the hose. We got the hose. Oh, this is gonna make a big puddle. I also don't have a tray to put these in. I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. We're getting real muddy here. Okay, now the question is, do we or do we not drill holes in the bottom of these? for our berry plants. I don't know. I might need to look that one up. We have golden raspberries. We have Jersey blueberries and raspberries. So I wanna get these into these buckets, but I'm not quite sure if I need to drill holes in the bottom. Looks like berries don't like to be waterlogged. I think we're gonna do it in the five gallon buckets. <laughs> These guys have been begging to be put into something. Now they have rainwater in them. Okay, that was smooth, that was smooth. Okay, one down, two to go. I'm so excited for these. This is my first time ever gardening. So it looks like we might need to soak these for a little bit. We're gonna fill our five gallon bucket with no holes with water, and then we'll go do our tomato plants and then come back. My goodness, it's like falling apart. Oh, is that okay? What happened? I don't know. I don't know, but the whole bottom fell off. I don't know what happened, but the whole bottom just fell off. So I did not anticipate that happening. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy too. Whoop! Jesus. I think they need water. I think that's going on. Bought these about a month ago. <laughs> Whoops. But she's back in business. Okay, the gold berry has the most leaves. Oh, we got a little shoot. There's another little 
There's two shoots coming off of it. I'm not really sure if this is the right dirt, but the lady at Home Depot said it would be fine. Oh shit. I'm a little concerned now. Is it okay if there's mold in there? It's like, it's not a lot. But I can see little signs of growth of mold. Okay. We need to look this one up. No. Really wanted to plant these. Apparently, a little bit of mold is normal. It's not bad. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if that's bad or not. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna dump this out and mix it up in the wagon. It's not, it's really not that bad. There's definitely mold in it, but I don't know. The internet says that that's normal. Actually, I feel like it's fine. I think it's fine. Then if I mix in some of the seed starter, just, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna do it. This has some coca coir in it, which maybe will help dry out the mold a little bit. This is just some seed starting mix. Looks like it's coca coir, peat moss, and vermiculite. I like this gardening thing. <laughs> Mixing the coca coir, vermiculite, and peat moss in with the potting soil for all of these are gonna work well while they're inside. I really need to fix my composting container that I cracked when I was using it to move wood. I put a hole in the bottom because I dropped a log in and I bought the, what's it called? Plastic weld that some of my viewers recommended to me. I'm gonna try to fix that so I can start my own compost bin. I'm just gonna fill my cups about halfway. You wanna make sure you pack it down a little bit too. a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> Are all of these gonna be tomatoes? Maybe. I have quite a few varieties, so. How many do we have here? Oh my gosh, tell me that that does not fit perfectly. Wait a minute, okay. I have plus one, but other than that, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So we have 36. Does that mean we're gonna have 36 tomato plants? 37. All right, so we got quite a few varieties here. I ordered tomato plants from Tomato Fest. I think that this website is just awesome. They have a bunch of heirloom tomatoes, a lot of varieties that just look really interesting and I wanna try growing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I guess we just put the seeds in now. <laughs> Guys, I'm just making this stuff up as I go. Let's do two of each. Now, there's not that many seeds in here and they're quite small. Apparently you're supposed to plant like a couple seeds in case some don't germinate. These are heirloom tomatoes, so allegedly they're harder to grow. One, two, three, four seeds. 
We're gonna save a couple. They're so tiny. Okay, next one is a Sprite tomato. Sprite. The next one is Amy's apricot. This is so relaxing. I like this. I'm excited to plant more stuff. I have so many seeds, you guys. I got carried away. I, I would imagine that a lot of first time gardeners do the same. Or maybe not, maybe some people go slow, but not me. I'm like, let's just grow everything. <laughs> Next is St. Lucy. Next is Abe Lincoln. Oh, he's chasing him away. <laughs> They're in a fight. <laughs> They're fighting over a female, of course. Rysentrop. Rysentrop? How do we say that? be on the Rysentrop tomato. I was close. Rysentrop. Okay. We got a Rysentrop. Next we have 1884. Look at him. Whoop. Next we have sweet orange cherry. I have no idea how to say this, but this is the tomato that I'm planting now. Now we have Nebraska wedding. Hughes. Amana orange. We have all our seedlings in. Now we're gonna cover them up with a little bit of dirt and give them some water. Got my dirt, have these. I have this little mini shovel. So I'm just gonna go one by one and put about quarter inch I'm gonna finish putting the top layer of dirt and then we'll go outside and plant our berries in the five gallon buckets oh no we're losing daylight <laughs> I gotta get these in before it gets dark I might add some more vermiculite because Raspberries and blueberries, they like really dry soil from what I've read. The golden berry. This one has the most roots on it. Whoops. All right, that guy looks good. Okay, next we have the red raspberry. Good, but red raspberry. We have one more. And then finally, we have our blueberry. I'm pretty proud of myself. I got 
all of my tomato seedlings in. I got the blueberry planted, the raspberries planted, and the holes drilled. I figured out the whole situation, and I feel motivated now to start planting the rest of my seeds because let me tell you, I got quite a few. Hopefully I wasn't too late on my tomato plants, but we'll see. I'm just gonna give these a quick water now. Do just a little bit of water in each cup. I did order a turkey baster. It was the exact measurement that you needed for each cup. And so I ordered one because it was just, just gonna make measurements easier. Now I'm gonna go clean up outside and I'll see you guys tomorrow.